All right, so good afternoon. Welcome to this post-match uh, press conference here, Dominica versus Ticks and Caicos. Uh, first of all, we'll start with Brittany Stout, the captain of Dominica. Brittany, a convincing victory here this afternoon. It goes to one. Um, just talk to us about the performance of the girls out there in the field this afternoon. Um, what can I say? It was a great game playing against for Crown and being home. Um, it was tough at first. The settle was a little late. But we still played our hats out, we went out there, we, the settling, like I said, was late, but I really was hoping that the team would just, as soon as they get in there, just play their ball, but all in all, I'm proud of the girls, and we went out there and we played our hats out. Did you even ever imagine scoring eight goals? No, honestly, we did not imagine that, but I'm proud of the girls for doing so. Okay. And we're not star on three, so I'm from our really leading the team this afternoon. Anything on what style? Um, she's a great player, I must say, very, very rich. Um, she's developing well. Even every day she's learning more. She's, the coaches are still working with her, and I am proud of her today. And um, while uh, Star Humphreys may have stood in the spotlight up front in the midfield, you are now the Bertrand sisters really pulling the strings there. How oh, much of the influence again for you this afternoon? Um, it's always a pleasure having the Bertrand with us. They have taught us a lot, even from their level and our level. They come in there and they always change the game for us, and we admire that. We are happy to have them with them, the sisters side by side, and they play their ball. It's a less strain for us, and we appreciate that, honestly. How much confidence does this give you now moving to Nicaragua? Eight goals against the Texan Kikos, a chance to really end the tournament on the island. I'm up there, to be honest. I am ready for this game. I am hyped and I am excited. I really cannot wait. Alright, All right. let's move over to uh, the head coach of Turks and Caicos, Dr. Baez. Not the result you really wanted here today. I mean, um, what went wrong for you and your team? Okay. To be honest, I no way for this score, but anyway, I sure my player, my team, try uh, play better. Um, I talk with the team after the game. I say I'm not happy with the result, but I happy in other direction because I watch everybody try mm -hmm. good attitude. And we play in the, for example, different time. We, try, we practice uh, regular in the regular time, but for me the player uh, play hard. This is important. Thing. And the opponent. Uh, Take a thing about the old mixes is mix, 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 yes, and um, it's very important. This is sport. This is football, and we need perfection more about the um, when we the ball for building um, uh, really on, uh, uh, from the back. <laughs> from the back, I go for a scoring. Thank you, Katie. So it's very important that you know we continue, we keep going, we don't stop, we don't quit. Okay? So with me today here, I say, I decide coming here, Kaidin, Delpin, Kaidin is a score in the in the game, and Irene Moline, we call Nana, and she play hard, you see? So I like, it's her play, so I decide she coming here because it's very important to recognize when the player play. Coach, um, you lost the, the last time 19 nil to Nicaragua, but you must be able to take some positives from this encounter against Dominica. What are some of the positives? What are some of the things that you saw the team do well against Dominica? Yes, I see so in this time the team understand more, need close more, more play in the center channel, protects more the goal. And I see positive too, the player understand more when one player uh, press the player with ball, other player need cover. But anyway, need understand uh, when clearing the ball, need to go up very quickly and in direction of clearing the ball. This is very important because this is the point the negative for the Dominica get some goal. But positive too is my player know this game no is easy, it's hard, and go and not quit, go for it. Okay. Uh, Coach Wang, your first three points in the CONCACAF double qualifiers. I mean, talk to us, what are you, how are you feeling right now? Just give us your own expression of what happened yesterday. I'm pleased, I'm happy for the ladies. I mean, as Captain said, it's been a long time playing at our home, in front of our home crowd, and getting that victory this afternoon. But firstly, I want to commend the Turks team. You know, they have the manager, the coach, very friendly, you know, 
I want to comment this young lady number seven. She really put on a show on the field this afternoon. You know, it's a, it's a pleasure watching her this afternoon. But all in all, you know, our ladies, and I can tell her what star, you know, star woke up at four this morning, <laughs> and waiting for sunlight, you know, and daybreak. You know, very exciting. And here she is today getting the, the free point, you know, points. As, as a coach, you know, you are very happy to see that. Um, possession, I love the possession we played. We played the one silly ball, you know, around. You know, at one point I wanted us to be more aggressive, but um, again, you know, he was working against, you know, the sun, you know, so bong the ball was, 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 was very good. The second half, you know, we came out, still bong the ball around, but I mean, there's some improvement we have to make, especially in the final field, you know, our decision making in the final field. You know, but all in all, at the end of the day, long we haven't gotten a victory. We have to be positive about it. I'm happy for the ladies. It's time for them to enjoy themselves at least for this evening. <laughs> Coach, I, I know you're happy with, with the performance. Um, not to show me we were very happy at half time, especially as we conceded that that sort of soft goal. You know, these sort of errors could possibly come, come back to haunt us against some um, you know, other teams. So, any goals on that? That's true, you know. And if you realize there was a certain point in the game, you know, where I was calling our players because some of them we were getting too comfortable on the field where everybody before they pass the ball they want to make two or three dribbles and so on you know and just after this you go score you know we are, we are too complacent on the field and this we have to improve because we're supposed to treat every game you know like playing a top team no matter whatever the thing that we have respect for each and every team and I don't think at certain time this was happening and we really need to improve in that. Looking forward to Nicaragua coach and painting from the team. This is a positive, a, a good win. I know it will be a challenge for us against Nicaragua. I can tell you because we'll be missing a lot of key players. But all in all, I'm happy that we get that victory. So those who are, who are, who are playing today, you know, will get that encouragement to play against Nicaragua. Okay, okay, let's head to the middle of the table where we have our number seven and our number ten. Uh, the number seven, first of all, uh, what's your name? Irina Moni. Okay. You played a good game today. Um, despite the result, I mean, talk to us about your feeling. How do you feel right about now? Say. I'm sad. Uh, uh, sad. You're sad. Yeah. I mean, it's a hard defeat. Um, yes, it's hard. But uh, any positive that you personally can take um, going forward? I play my hardest. I play my hardest. Play the hardest. Yeah. Okay. And um, KD in it, right? Yeah. You scored the goal for Tricks and Kickers. Um, talk to us about that feeling. We saw you crying out on the field. Um, what a feeling. It is because we've been working hard back home. We've been putting in extra training and we was looking forward to winning the game. And we some mistakes were made, but scoring the goal was like, oh my God, we at least we score because we've been trying so hard, working so hard to at least score a goal. So when we scored that goal, it was it was like heaven on earth for us. So it was good. Is that uh, the first goal? Or it's the first goal in the competition. Yes. The first well, goal. First goal ever for this. Yes. Oh, wow. So you're going to go long in the record books. Well. Did you bring the history? Yeah. We've been putting in a lot okay. of work. Yes. A lot of work. All right. So thank you guys. All right. Thank you guys for joining us in this post-match press conference. Uh, bye bye. A good looking.